Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. The road's up here on built for speed. I'm glad to see you, Cardigan. You're just in time. Uh, tell me, exactly how much do you know about this business? Well, if the Sabo's son was killed in the Shan Hills by an American, a fellow called Brecken. Ah, uh, we'll go into it later then. It's almost time to see the Sabo. Are. The Sabo will see you now. His Excellency, the Commissioner. His Glorious Highness, Lord of Elephants, Lord of Gold, Silver, Rubies, Emeralds, and all umbrella bearing chiefs, the Sabwa of Sakar. Your Highness. The Honorable Commissioner has come to a house of sorrow. I wish to express my deepest sympathy for the death of the Prince. I want the life of the man who murdered my son. We are doing everything that we can to take him, Your Highness. And what has happened? He's escaped from your police. He's free in the jungle. He's still alive. This is Captain Cardigan of the security office. He is our most experienced and resourceful man. Your Excellency. Can you bring this murderer to me? I shall do my best, Excellency. Sergeant. This man saw him closely, Excellency. Tell us, Sergeant. How does this man Brecken look? Look? Sabi was a monster with huge... That's enough. Remember, you're a policeman now. He is tall. About here. He has the blue in the eyes, in the hair is brown. Shoulders, he has so. The face is square in the chin. Yeah, that so. will do, that will do. <laughs> you see, Your Highness, how we are handicapped. We have a bullet, Your Excellency, fired from a Luger gun, a type Brecken is known to carry. So far, that's all we have. I have complete confidence in Captain Cardigan, Your Highness. I have a plan of my own, Your Excellency. I presume you know Miss Gwen Moore. I think your people call her the Gwen Ma. Her father and I were friends. I think this man Brecken will go into her country. It's the only place he can get supplies. I want to start from there. Then bring him in quickly. I want that head to roll in my courtyard. I must remind your highness that this man must be taken and tried by law before he can be judged. Take him then! But I warn you, do not fail. <laughs>
Abade. Good evening, Mackie. Good evening, Baron Old Grandmore. Your servants await your inspection. You're beautiful. Very goodly. Tomorrow you two will work with the big logs on the ridge. We hear you, Gwen Ma. You are hurt, old one. Be patient, it will be made well. My will over your will. Stand tamely. Why haven't you reported this wound to the book? It is nothing that I cannot heal myself. Let me have the goad. You have been abusing him again. I warned you the last time not to let this happen again. I will not have my animals mistreated. Old one. Him it. Him it! Get your wages from Akish and go. You will ride no more for me. Mercy, Gwen Ma. The elephant is my life. You are not to be trusted. Have pity. Give me back my elephant. I will obey. Go and hide your head. Gumat. You may mount. Mount. Now the old one is yours. You two are one. See to it. On my life, Gwen Ma. Someday you may ride him in the supply caravan, so that you may be proud before your uncle in Mandalay. Couldn't resist this. It's been a long time. All travelers are welcome to House of the Bomo Gwen Moore Sahib. That's lucky for me. Would you like something to eat? I certainly would.
and some rains have fallen in the mountains. And here is a warning to the upcountry. It is likely that the monsoon will arrive early. Teak. Hello. You see, I've uh, made myself at home. Would you like another? Yes, I would. I'm Gwen Moore. Gwen Moore. I've heard of you wherever they talk of teak and elephants. I've lived here all my life. And you? My name is Jim. Jim Martin. Going through the country? Yes. In a way. Well, I... Elephants in the compound. They should be working in the teak. I, uh, I hope you're not in a hurry. I was, but... Uh... Perhaps you'd like to stay for a while. Is there a time limit? <laughs> well, that all depends. Well, Ma, Marquis asking you to come to compound at once. Very well. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Tell Khan to set the table for two. What is it, Makish? There is a small trouble, but it is a small trouble several times. Thus, it becomes a large trouble. If we face it together, it will only be half as large. Tell me about it. Someone in the jungle has offended an evil tiger spirit. Oh. So this tiger spirit has caused all this trouble? Alas, he has killed an elephant. Killed an elephant? Old Kusai. Oh, that is very bad. But we mustn't let it stop the work. The rains are coming early. The riders will not go back to work. They are afraid. Saddle me a horse. Kumat, bring my rifle and tell Sahib Martin to make himself at home. I'm going into the jungle and see for myself what killed this elephant. You are being very foolish. The spirit tiger will be angry. He will bring more trouble on us all. We'll face one trouble at a time. Take your men and go with her. But, Sahib. Be quick about it. As you say, Sahib. Begang Gelabade. Marquise! It is not a spirit tiger, but a flesh and blood tiger. No, Grandma. No tiger can kill a full grown elephant tusker. You know as well as I do, the dead elephant is old Kusai, 70 years old and ready to be retired. 
When the tiger sprang on him, he died of heart failure. Spirit tigers do not make their marks on the ground, nor do they make a meal off their kill. Who can tell what an evil spirit may do? You neglected this elephant, Makish, and now you're trying to wriggle out of it. Oh, you startled me. Trouble? Look at the elephant. Tiger. Pug marks are still fresh. Well, I'll have a tree blind put up and sit and wait and shoot him when he returns for his next meal. He's had his fill. He may not come back. Then I'll have to track him. You'd go to all that trouble for a dead elephant? I've got to. Why? Because my people say the elephant was killed by a spirit tiger. <laughs> well, there's no sense laughing. They believe in jungle spirits. They call them gnats. I've got to prove that the tiger was real. Otherwise, I'll never be able to manage them. You better get him before it gets dark. Otherwise, he'll be hunting you. Yes. Sounds like our four-footed friends are enjoying their feast. Tiger and elephant hamburgers. Well, looks like we'll have to stay here tonight. That's what makes the jungle so exciting. Too dangerous to travel after dark. No, I'm used to camping out alone. But I generally have a bottle for company. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you'll have to settle for my company this once.
you Miss Gwenmore's man? I am the Wong Khan. You are Sahib Cardigan? Yes. Miss Moore get my message? Indeed, Sahib. You are come to buy elephants. That's right. The Gwenma has fine beasts, some she will sell. Good. You will please to follow me. Your horse, Sahib. Thanks. Jaldi karo. Aswab ko thik laga do. It wasn't a spirit tiger. They'd only pug marks. You can follow that cat's tracks through the jungle, and you'll find our boot marks beside them. What have you to say, Makish? What are you staying here for? There's work to be done. Go to your elephants. Now that I have settled this trouble, I will go. Time must not be wasted. I suppose you'd like a bath. I could certainly use one. I'll send Khan to draw your bath. Tell him if you need anything else. Thanks. Requiring me again tonight, Gwenma? No, you may go to bed. I'm wishing you rest and repose. father when he first came to this country. Looks like a real jungle, sir. <laughs> you? Me. And our first house. You've come a long way since then. My father got a lot of fun out of building this house just the way he wanted it. It was his pride and joy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. you want to spend your time in the teak forest? I like it. It's my life. When I was a little girl, I ran away from school and came back here. I begged my father so hard to let me stay, he finally gave in. I, I've grown up with the elephants. I don't want anything else. Just the same. It's a tough job for a woman. Sometimes. But I've managed to run it alone since my father died. And you, Jim. Where are your tap roots fastened? <laughs> In the sky. Any place. No place. And I'm tired of knocking around. If I could help you with a take for the rest of the season. You can stay here as long as you like, Jim. It might be forever. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Good night, Jim. Don't you feel safe here? It's just habit, I guess. Good night, Jim. Go 
Come on, Fuzzy. Come on. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. There, Fuzzy. No, no, no. No, no. Behave yourself. Ah. Ah, that's what you think of the Sahib Martin. Try to get into my room. Tell McKees to find the man. He must have been after these rubies. Rubies? Oh. Would you like me to take care of them for you? It wouldn't be too dangerous. Going on. Happy New Year. Of course it is their New Year. The same to you. Come along. It's the Kodar ceremony. Wenma, the year's work is done. Teak is waiting for the rains to carry it down the rivers. Now we have come to do Kopa to beg pardon for anything we might have done wrong this past year. Thank you all. You have done very well this year. See that everyone gets a share of my gift. We thank the Gwenma. And now we have a gift for her. <laughs> what have you taught him?
see how well he knows his duty. Bow tamely to me. You have a way with elephants. It's a male elephant. Thank you. Thank you, little one. Kodaba. It's going to be a wonderful year. Saeed Martin, come quickly. Kill a cobra. Where is it? In the quarters, a big one. I won't be long. When my the sahib cardigan. See that the sahib's gear is taken to his room. Mr. Cardigan? Been looking forward to meeting you, Miss Moore. I must confess I'm a little surprised. I expected you to be the uh, jungly, big bone type, you know. <laughs> you must make yourself at home here. Thanks. I'm sure you'd like a drink. Jim must have shot the snake. Jim? Mr. Martin, my overseer. Oh. Somehow I had the idea you ran this place alone. I did until lately. Mr. Martin is helping me through the teak season. I see. What's the news of the outside? The wireless is out of order. Oh, it's being fixed it for you. Fine. King Cobra. Oh, this is Mr. Cardigan, Jim. Oh. This must be uh, Mr. Martin. Glad to meet you, Cardigan. I know most of the teak men. I don't think I've met you before. I was only attracted to it recently. Drink, Jim? Yes, thanks. You uh, traveled much through Burma, Mr. Martin? Pretty much. In teak, you say? I didn't say, but I've done a little of everything. Any mining? Some. They've been taking rubies out of the Shan Hills, I hear. Ever been up there? That's a place... I've been all over Burma. I see you carry a Luger. Yes. A reliable weapon. I found it reliable. Uh, your letter said that you were interested in buying elephants for work in the teak. Ah, yes. Teak trained elephants, you must be a lumberman. <laughs> How many trees have you girdled this year? Well, I'm not exactly a lumberman. Are you I... buying the animals for resale? A uh, sort of uh, animal broker. I could use eight or ten good elephants. Let's have a look, shall we? Sure. Moore has some excellent animals. The one that's coming in now is a fine beast. His name is Carter. I'd be very glad to see him. Carter may give you a surprise. It will be interesting for you to meet him. Khartoum. As you can see, his ears are almost totally black. The uh, formation of his head shows that he's still in the prime of his life. He has five toes on each foot, set quite closely together. I recognize the points. Fine specimen. Excuse me, I uh, forgot the elephant book. The uh, points of the elephant I just mentioned, Mr. Cardigan are all bad points. Khartoum is over 60 years old. Oh. <laughs> you are not going to sell Khartoum, are you, Grandma? No. I just wanted him to see my best elephant. We are old friends. I 
thought you were interested in my elephants, Mr. Cardigan. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I am, I assure you. You seem much more interested in my house. Well, it's a very interesting house. Did you really come here to buy elephants? Why, yes. That is, I... I wanted to meet you, too. <coughs> That old fellow is my special watchdog. He seems to distrust you. Well, it's a little difficult for anyone to behave quite normally when meeting you for the first time. Well, perhaps it's a period of must coming over him. That would make him nervous. No, it's not must. It's you, Mr. Cardigan. He seems to feel you haven't quite followed the rules. Yeah. Now, I want to know who you are and why you are here. I came to arrest a man named Jim Brecken. Then you didn't come just to see me. I'm sorry, Miss Moore. But I'm quite sure that Jim Brecken is the man that you know as Jim Martin. Jim Martin? Jim Martin. What is he supposed to have done? Murder. His partner. I don't believe it. Why would he? Rubies. The killing was done with the Luger. Brecken carries one. So do many other men. I have the bullet. I know he wouldn't kill him. He's made love to you, hasn't he? Women always think they're sure of a man who makes love to them. But they never are. If he's innocent, he'll have a chance to prove it. Uh, well, I know he is, and I can prove it. So you can prove it. If you have that bullet with sure, you... Sure, I've got it. Then if I can get his gun... My orders are to take him into Rangoon. Oh, I see. You want it on your record. You probably need a promotion and you don't care how you get it. I'm taking your lover into Rangoon. Tartrum! Mala! You'd better stop, Mr. Cardigan. Back or low! <laughs> The elephant doesn't like guns, Mr. Cardigan. Better drop yours. <laughs> or shall I tell him to squeeze a bit? Do what you like. I won't drop it. Just keep him quiet for an hour. They'll never catch me. But, Jim, running away won't solve anything. You want me to hang? Then give me your gun and take one of mine. Your gun will prove you innocent. Won't prove anything. The prince was killed. Somebody's got to hang for it. Got plenty of nerve, I'll say that for you. Yeah. Both fired with the same gun, I should think. Where are you going? To get Brecken. Well, he'll kill you now. Then give him a gun back. You think I'll help you take, Jim? Whatever you think he's done, you've played a double game, coming here and deliberately using me. I don't like you or your dirty methods. I wouldn't lift a finger to help you. Okay, if you feel like that about it, I'll have to go on using dirty methods. But I'll bring him in if I have to kill him. And this time, don't try and stop me.
saddle a pony and go after Sahib Martin. When you find him, tell him the policeman is coming after him, but he has no gun. And tell him Gwen Ma begs him not to kill. Dirty. Why have you come here? We do not like beggars. I'm not a beggar. I'm looking for Sahib Brecken. I heard from the soldiers he's in the house of the Gwen Ma. I don't know where he is. There's no one here. This is a house of danger. Go away. But I... Go away. Need them. Don't bother me now. This is not like you, Grandma. Saddle me a horse. Your teeth will. Never mind that. Get my riding clothes. Hurry. with me? It's useless for you to go after Jim. I sent a boy to tell him you had no gun. It's a poor policeman who doesn't carry an extra gun. What the devil are you doing here? Did my boy find you? Yes, he said Cardigan was unarmed. Well, he isn't. He has a gun. Where did you see him with it? Back there. Well, you've let him trick you. You've led him right to me. Jim, I had to try to help you. Help I... me? You're helping him. 
Now get out of here and let me settle this. I don't want you mixed up in it. Jim, if you shoot that police officer, you won't stand a chance. I won't stand a chance anyhow. Now get on that pony. Put up your hands, Brecken. Glenn, move out! Get out of there! I won't have you kill a police officer or have him kill you! No! No! Jump your gun, Brecken! Now put these on. Is this what you wanted? Now, where are the rubies? Ask her. Miss Moore? All right, get on your horse. I'm taking you to Rangoon. cleared out. I wonder why. Well, there, the Nat House, where they leave offerings for the spirits. Something wrecked it, they got scared and ran away. Well, Nat spirits are no Nat spirits. I think we go on. How far do you think you'll get in the jungle at night? Who's going to show you the way? We'll camp here. Nothing in the rule book says a prisoner has to starve, Cardigan. I can wrestle up some pineapples at least. I go with you. Do we attack now? Later when they sleep. shot him. They would have sent other men after you until they caught you. Well, hang me anyway if he takes me in. But he won't. I promise you I'll help you get away. Give me the key to these cuffs. I can't. Not now. We'll have to go back to the house. I can get you away from there with men and supplies, but you'll have to wait. Did you really commit a murder, Jim? He was better off dead than alive. Cardigan has the bullet that killed your partner. He also has the one you shot into the elephant's leg. He says they're from the same gun. You mind if I get some sleep? Off. I don't try any tricks. I think you're going to take me to Rangoon? Alive or dead, Brecken. And the choice is yours. Well, if only one of us gets out of this jungle alive, it won't be you, Cardigan. I promise you that. Anything I 
can do for your comfort, Miss Moore. And tea for two? Be a little difficult to manage, wouldn't it? Sorry, I was just trying to help. The thought was there. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll just have to make this do. Good night. Good night. This Luke is going to hang you, Brecken. It's already bound, Mom. Why? The Sahib is a security officer. I'm his prisoner. You're also a robber, huh? Ask him. That's right. He's under arrest for murder and robbery. Now be on your way and get out of here before the police arrive. There'll be no one to tell. We are brothers. <laughs> With these, I can do nothing. Well, I can't. I have to do it. Looks like I won't be going to Rangoon with you. Take your hands off her! Stand back! Let's lose breath, will you? Better luck next time, Cardigan. They won't be back. You'll be free in an hour if you're regular hard enough. It'll be daylight soon. You can find your way home. You better start wriggling. I'm sorry, sir, but there's no way of getting to that country by water. The river up there is jammed with logs. Cardigan should have had him out before this, and not one word from him. It's the Lieutenant Governor. Uh, good morning, sir. No, sir, no word at all. 
but Cardigan's a very resourceful man, and we know that Brecken has not come out of the jungle yet. What? Oh, I see. Oh, if the Sarbaugh's getting out of hand about it, it's bad, definitely, but we're doing everything that we can. Well, of course I'll keep in touch with you. No, very good, sir. The Sabwa wants Brecken. He's raising the very devil with the governor. What is he doing here? This is not the time for judging criminals. Lord, it is a matter that concerns your highness. Another time. I beg you to hear me. This robber was taken in the jungle. It's stolen this. Where did you get this? Lord, I found it. This is the watch my son gave to the man Brakehan. Where did you get it? Mercy, Lord. Speak! Lord, we came upon three of them in a hut in the forest. Where was this? A short march from the house of the Gwen Ma of the Elephants. Who are these three? The Gwen Ma, the officer, and a prisoner in bonds. A man in bonds? Yes, Lord. A prisoner of the officer. That was the man Brickhand. Sergeant, we will divide here. If you find the man Brecken, take him, alive or dead. On my head, Captain. Divide by twos. I've seen flash floods like that tear an elephant to pieces. Looks like we've got some company. That's the apes who have company. They live here. Sorry, I can't offer you a chair. Huh? Just relax and we'll try to get along until this storm is over. We'll get you wherever you are. Dead or alive, you said. Yeah. The more I see of you two, the more I like elephants. Let's start a fire if we can.
Get out of there. First six men dismount. What's the idea? My people may be looking for me. You better eat something. Help yourself. The lowlands will be dry pretty soon. I'm not going to wait for your people. Is your evidence. The Sopers men. They want your head, but my government wants you for trial. Come on, give me a hand. Looks like you've got the short end of the bed. Seven guns to none. This way! This was the priest's entrance. It leads out front. I'll go ahead. There may be a fight. Pull! Follow me! Those fellas won't bother you.
of your servants, Guinma, the captain of the Savoir of Saka. I am a friend of your master, Captain, but I am not his subject. How dare you bring these men against me? I have my master's orders. To fire into my house? To bring him the man who murdered his son. It's my duty, Captain, to take this man to Rangoon. Alive or dead, he must go with us. But it would be a pity if any harm should come to the Guinma. I will give you five minutes to decide. Shoot us, Grandma. They will shoot no, us. No, no, they won't hurt you. Where are my people? They took the elephants and ran away to hide, but Bakish is here. Are you hurt? No. Send Makish to me. Get out of here before they start shooting again. We have five minutes. You want to go out and help them take me? My order is to bring you in for trial. If you're going to hang it, it'll be done legally. If you want to hang him, you better fight for you him. You better get out of here now while there's still time. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Makish, guard the back door with your life. Think they've quit? The sob will have their heads if they don't finish me. I don't like it. They're too quiet. Sure you want it this way? They're not going to take you.
don't think it'll give you any more trouble. Boy, I told you to go away. I must see the Gwen Ma. What's the matter there? I must see the Gwen Ma. I wish her to help me. What is it? What do you want me to do? He is a beggar. I sent him away. Once. I am not a beggar. I was looking first. I hear Bricken. Bricken? I have a letter for His Highness, the Sabwa. Why didn't you give it to the soldiers? I was afraid of them. They drove me away. No one let me into the palace. They called me a beggar. This is the seal of the Sabwa's son. Prince Tamar. I was bare to the prince. I live in the mining hills, and there he hired me. When he was dying, he told me to take this letter to his father. But no one let me near the palace. The prince was dying, you say? Yes, Sahib. He was very sick and dying. If he were dying, it might be different. Finish it. Noble lady. I must see the Sabo quickly. This is government business. And you've been sent away before. He's with us. Highness. The Gwen Ma. I cannot see you now. Your Highness, I demand that you give me this man for trial. I rule here, Saab. I've already judged him. Your Highness, my government. I will not listen. You must listen. Look at the seal. It is a letter to you from your son. Let it wait. Highness, you are known in all Burma as a wise and just man. The hurt in your heart for your son must be very deep. But if you found out too late you had wronged that man, it would be even deeper. It would never heal. You must listen. Beloved father, I am writing this from our camp. I am ill and I know now that I have the plague. My death is certain, and I may not have time to say all that is in my heart to say to you, whom I love and respect above all men. It would... What does it matter to you? A letter. The truth is written here. The man is guilty. He should be put to death. Does the book mean more to you than the words of your son? It would comfort me if Sahib Jim were here. But I would not have him get the plague. He has camped at the diggings. He has been a true friend to me. And killed a prince of the royal blood. It is written that he must die. I only ask you to hear what your son has written. I wish, beloved father, I could see you once more and receive your blessing. I would try and come to you, but I must not bring the plague to my people. The night has passed. My bearer boy is with me. 
but I know I am dying, Father. I give you my love, and may the Lord Buddha of his infinite wisdom increase in you all virtue and good life. Jim! But my son was shot. I came back to our village. The prince was still alive. I did what I could, but he had the plague. The Black Death. I left him for a moment to get some water. He got out of his bed and started to run. He was out of his mind. He ran toward the village. I tried to overtake him, but I couldn't. He was taking the plague to 300 people. He didn't know what he was doing. He was delirious. And the prince had his pistol and began shooting at Sahib Rick and me. It was my life and the lives of your people. I had no choice. What have you to say to this, Saab? I should say it's a case of lack of evidence. the commissioner. Tell him it is finished. Here are rubies. The police thought you did it for these. Half of these belong to Prince Tamir, your highness. I hope you will take them all for the good of your people. In memory of your son. Go in peace, friend of my son. Bye, Bracken. Good luck. You're free, Jim. Free to go. Free? Who wants to be free? 